everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Play of Color. I'm Scarlett and we're live and hopefully you can find me mm -hmm. and you'll see that I'm live. Um, my shop girl slash lovely assistant, the lovely Mrs. Carrie is going to be helping me today. Hey guys. <laughs> so um, we are going to be using brand new Have It Live Here. Looking at its color art line, it's a Dragonfly Wings kit. There's a set of 12 total colors. My creation's by Baby Doll. <gasps> Baby Doll, hi! So you get 12 beautiful colors in the kit. And if you use my code, my color art, if you go to colorart.com's website, anything on their website, it's not just these, anything you want, they do acrylic, things for acrylic, they do things for watercolor, and they do things for resin art, <gasps> and hi, then, um, so you can get all 12 of these in the kit, you get 20% 20, 20 off, use my code, and it's like, I think 50 it is. Give me it's in my seconds. description box below this video. It'll. Oh, thank you, Kara. You're welcome. <laughs> it's um, fifty-seven sixty with the discount. With my code. Yeah. I'll put the code up here in just a second. <gasps> JJ. JJ. What's up? What's up? Oh, I need to get on my this because I cannot see that far. Oop. What's happening, JJ? And if anyone can share, you know, because for some reason YouTube is not showing that I'm live. YouTube is not notifying a ton of people. And then it's even not showing it until a day later. You, But if you go directly to my website, if you could just share that on your guys' social media things to let people know that I'm live right now, as well as um, just to literally go to my channel directly and then go to videos and then they'll see the live there if anybody here can just like get that out because I've been going live daily and people are telling me they're not even knowing and they're not seeing and in fact I'm not even getting notified right now yeah, I have to go either. to my specific thing and then I have to go to my videos hmm? or to the home screen and then boom there's a live view <laughs> Anne says she was just playing with the PEs. Elisa, hi. And change just... it with live chat. One second, baby. Playing with the primary elements. Sweet. Okay, so yeah. So, oh, Gina, hi. So basically, um, you use my code twenty percent off. They're a new bling it line. They're new improved, and they're like pastels, basically. Um, they're. Really, I'm really, really excited to use this set of 12. If my mods, uh, JJ, uh, can repost what Carrie's posting, that'd be great. Um, with my code, it makes it like 50 something. <gasps> Clara! Carrie! Yay! It's so nice to see people on my channel. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Like, seriously. So we're going to be busting out these colors. It is Easter is coming along, even with all this COVID stuff going, you know, 19 going around. <laughs> but I have only one single heart, and then I have the rest are eggs that we're going to art. And being Easter, I thought it'd be cool to use these because they're like a pastel. Um, and then we got the eggs. And in my description box below as well is information for Judy to contact if you want these are glass ornaments are very sturdy very sick stick <laughs> very thick very awesome and there's plenty of videos out there of me ornamenting with these on there but every single one of my videos in the description box below shows information with a sale price as well as without the sale price I don't believe they're on sale any longer so just go by the number posted that is not this that says regular price so you know, and you just need to specify and con the email contact and all that information is in the description box below to let you know how to get your hands on these bad boys. And I love them, love them, love them. But this is my last heart. So let's get to arting. To do this, we use polycrylic. Um, you get to get out your local Home Depot or any hardware store carries it. Just make sure it's the clear matte version and you're good to go. 
as you see I've been using this solely just for these but I also use it for like my boards and things like that so um, and I just use I have this really close so that way this time you guys can really really see it so I just use a little pipette and squeeze some into it and then place it in here and then just squeeze it through now this is tends to be the most part of the process that is the most time consuming so to make it quicker you can get a bunch in here squirt a ton in there and then um, it's kind of oddly thick. Did Judy get in? Yay, there she is. Hey, Judy. Right yeah. Okay. <gasps> Evelyn, what up? Anyone I missed, what up? <laughs> um, you're going to squeeze this in. And what I do is I'll get a bunch of these and I'll do this. Maybe is there a different pipette? This seems to be like sure. not sucking it up that well. I hate when that happens. That was quickly. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that one was a lot. But still, like, I don't know, it was great as a cut that. Okay, hold on one second. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Good to see you all. You gotta be reading out loud the yep. feed, babe. I will. I was just trying to get stuff over to Clara. And... To give a notify your life. That's great, Anne. There's a lot, unfortunately, that aren't, and it's not even showing that I'm live, so they have no idea even if they went in their normal yeah. feed. Judy couldn't find us, so I had to text her the route. The link. Oh, do you have a uh, paper towel? Somehow I got this on me. Oh, I need gloves, don't I? Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Um... So yeah, and um, but yeah, that's all I was trying to have everybody if they could solve the flaggy for you. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. That's awesome, Evelyn. Um, but yeah, a lot of people aren't. I can't. I'm not. I'm subscribed to myself, and I cannot get any notification whatsoever. I can't find. I have to go directly to my homepage of my channel, go Claire directly to it. that to get it. That's good. So um, if you could just spread the word and on our social medias, let people know, like, hey, I'm live. Help me out. Come yeah. visit. Because YouTube's not getting a, giving us any love. Yeah. Like, and then they're posting it when I get off. They they wait a whole day to like put it in people's normal in the feed so it's delayed 24 hours but um i think it was gina i believe thank you gina for that that said they think she thinks it's because of the covid 19 and there was some weird little blur blue blur blurble that i got saying that some because they're out of viewers or screeners or something that you might not get blocked your stuff might get blocked regardless just in case but i was like huh so she's saying because I guess some people are musicians aren't being appropriate about it. I don't even know. I don't even know what that meant. So if you want to elaborate, Gina, on that, you can. <laughs> Crazy stuff going on. See, I don't even know. I'm so like clueless to that. So I just put a ton in, and I coat the whole inner walls with this stuff. Now the thing is, you want the the heart is is between the egg and the heart the hearts are always um harder because you got to pivot back and forth to get the polycrylic to pour out uh but you do want a thin coat i want mine to be a little bit wetter than maybe others uh would like but because i do like to mine to get like a deep as deep of, of a saturation as possible because within 24 hours you will see it change it keep changing and developing the color um, but I don't want it so wet that it, you know, because it is paint, it will blend. It'll bleed into each other too much. I want it distinct colored uh, patterns throughout. So I'll put a ton in and I'll do this and I'll get it all around, make sure there's, whoop, I forgot to plug the hole. <laughs> plug the hole. Plug your hole. <laughs> um, and I'll get it all around and make sure it covers everything and then I'll put it in another separate container and I'll just let it drain um, and then I'll grab another ornament so it doesn't take time and I just push it it's just kind of squish it in there a little bit so it holds and the heart will just puddle it won't drain out you know it'll just kind of puddle in the little corner parts 
I call them the like shoulder the shoulder pad area <laughs> the, um, but the egg will leak out so which is what we're gonna do right here you're just gonna pull this out I hold right here I pinch that so it doesn't think and even though it's thick and it's made it's double fire kilns to specifically be able to art inside and out so you can't cut yourself and it makes it stronger but I um still rather not ping it you know against the glass and it is glass either way it's you know it has the potential to break I mean it's not invincible <laughs> but they are super sturdy yeah compared to yeah and thick compared to most so definitely don't be palming it when you see me do my vids and stuff I don't I don't wear my wedding ring when I art so I'm I don't have any jewelry on that's going to affect me using the soft tissue base of my palm of where your thumb bone is kind of area um, when I'm pouncing the egg or the heart ornament whatever you may have I don't have any jewelry or anything that's gonna like tink against the glass and possibly you know <laughs> break it so these are all common sense things but just in cases what is being said, baby? I was just waiting for you. Uh, do you ah. Anne wants to know if you ever go back the next day and have bare spots. Bare spots? I've had that happen, then tried to do it in the empty spot. Oh, no. I've never had that happen. It might be that your, um, your coats in between, some are thinner than others that have coated the, or the inside. It might be too thin, or you might wait long and too long to where some patches are drying more than others. Or if you're using bind and resist like I do or mine, you may coat it too much with the bind and resist so then it won't, the color, it, it's too thick of a coat, the, the, that powder, and that's the whole point of it is to resist so the color is not going to really seep and bleed through. But I would just assume that like it was either too thin of a coat or you missed it <laughs> or it dried too, too quick, some are dry, you know, in some spots other than others because I've never, ever, ever had that happen. And those are the only things I can come up with off the top of my head. And that could be a potential issue. So, otherwise, yeah, I don't know how that's odd. Because I do know when I have it draining and I'm doing others, I put a ton in purposely because it, you know, it will just keep falling out and drain real quick. And if it gets too thin on the glass, then it'll start drying. And then it's not as sticky, it's not as, you know, tacky, right, because it's drying, so um, the powder won't adhere or, or bleed out. The color won't be as strong because of that, too. So I tend to purposely put a lot in knowing I'm going to, because I just, I don't do too many ahead because, like I said, it'll dry out then. So I'll do maybe, usually one, I'll leave one, I'll do one, let it drain in that time frame. You know I'll do another they were talking about if it was blown glass or Pyrex and Judy and Clara were answering for them. oh thank you ladies I and, appreciate that uh, baby doll wants to know how quickly does it dry hmm ah uh, next day oh well yeah I mean for sure by the next day it's dry it's um it, like I said, you got 24 hours that the the pigment still keeps seeping and bleeding and, and changing. But if this doesn't have anything on it, it'll it could dry within depending on how thin of a layer is in here too. It can dry within like hours, like six hours it could be pretty much dry if you didn't put anything on it that that first layer, you know, penetrating through. Like I don't know, I would definitely. It's definitely dry by like I want to say 12 hours, honestly, probably to 24. You know, what is that? That's weird. Uh, so, I'm just gonna let this drain back in. And the other little handy tool that you need is just a thin little stick, stir stick. You can get a bunch on Amazon, or if you're a coffee drinker, you can dra grab or save your stir that you stir your coffee with. That's the same thing. Just get a little, and it fits perfectly in the whole of these ornaments that you're going to be putting your powder on. So. 
so as you see the film it gets thinner and thinner you know the more it drains it starts to get more and more see-through but you do want it kind of a white film you don't want it too like I said I don't like it too see-through or too thin because I like it to purposely be a little bit deeper and darker to, otherwise it dries out too too quickly I feel baby doll said I wanted to check before I would put the hardware back on so thank you oh yeah absolutely I put oh the hardware wrap you mean though the this yeah the clip the this I put this on immediately after usually <laughs> Because I just pop it in and let it dry. So, um, for the most part, you know, I just, maybe after 20 minutes max, you know, if you're worried about it scraping or whatever, but it shouldn't, like, I just wait no more than 20 minutes, like, and then boom, pop it in. Because I just like them, I just like them on and then left alone. You know? Hey, Michelle. She says, evening all. Hope your day's been hi, a lovely Jill. one. Hi, I was like trying to look for her. I was like, where is she? <laughs> it has been. Thank you. And thanks for your patience, everyone. Carrie had her first sale today. Yeah. So she was out and about uh, showing homes. And um, so that's awesome. And then, uh, you know, so we decided to put the little one down to be able to go live by the time she got home and all that stuff it was way past the nap time everything so yeah, he wouldn't nap i did post a video for today because i honestly wasn't sure she was going to get home we could do live at all but then we were like let's do it at night i didn't see atd on so um i was like let's try it all right we'll see you in a few jj thank you guys all right oh ribbon potty break hi ribbon yeah super neat couple Found them a house, got them under contract, and they're gonna be moving in by the third, I hope. That's awesome. Yeah. Good for them. It's always exciting. And this the perfect ideal time right now for like buyers to buy. We went with our gloves. We had gloves on. I had mm -hmm. my hand sanitizer. I, had I made Scarlett's for hand, her. hand sanitizer. They were so stoked. Yep. Thank you, Mattify. Oh, they used your hand sanitizer. I did let them. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's so nice of you to share. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mattify was so sweet. Our subscriber, Mattify, um, gave me that, and he's a real chem a chemist in real life, and he was like on point with it. I'm so appreciative. I was like, yeah. So I was like, step by step. Super simple. If you have 99% isopropyl alcohol and you have some aloe vera, you're good to go. Oh, it's uh, one part aloe vera, two parts 99% isopropyl alcohol. If you have 70% or 91% or whatever, you know, then it's a little bit different. Um, but you also can Google it. You can have a little tea tree oils or fragrance if you want to put it in there. I got organic aloe vera. Um, and mixed it up and still have some left to mm -hmm. mix more if you need it and stuff like that so um you, it has to be 60 percent above 60 percent um isopropyl alcohol in the hand sanitizer in order for it to work to actually kill the germs of the virus so so check your stuff that you have make sure that you have that in there all right so this is a little bit thick still but I'm just going to add a little bit more binder resist so we can start moving on. Clara says, Scarlett, I got my parts ready just in case we run out. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right, Miss Clara. Ooh, and I'm just tilting the heart. I'm just rocking it back and forth to drain inside this. <laughs> and I'm purposely not going to, like, tilt it all out because, like I said, this will keep draining drip, 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 drip. And this will get almost clear again to where it's a glass and I need it to coat so I'm just gonna do a good chunk and then I'm gonna let it coat again all around so that way it doesn't dry out by the time I need to do this one but as you see how much was in there you know what I mean so you don't want it super thick because a lot of I think people's problems they get impatient with the process this part of the process and it does take time that's a good thing about the live it being real time so people really know you can't rush this part otherwise it'll one all your art will just drain down <laughs> all your color and right. it's not cheap um so you don't want to waste any product ever but um 
you know, you definitely want to uh, make sure that it doesn't just slide on out. But you also uh, don't want it to be wet enough to where it doesn't drip off your egg entirely and puddle out the whole of it. But you also don't want it to like bleed all your, your pigment together so it's just a big blub of black, you know, whatever. So let's let's bust out some of these colors. So Carrie's going to read the colors to you. I'm really yeah. excited. I always use the bag it comes on. It's a little, this is a little, uh, here you go, pop, 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 pop. The bubble wrap. wrap yeah and I always put it on because it doesn't roll for me I have the black because it'll show up better for the egg itself um, but this way you can see and it won't like roll everywhere so we got some pixie dust I thought there was an actual yellow is pixie dust the yellow I guess so so I'm gonna use some binder resist first and this you don't have to use it um gum Arabic itself works just oh yeah mine doesn't focus on auto focus off um mm, mm, mm. there um uh, mine uh gum arabic itself works just fine as well if you can't get this but this also all this stuff is except for the polycrylic is sold on colorart.com again with a 20 percent off um discount coupon and my link for any of the stuff there. So I'm just gonna put it in, I'm gonna pounce it on my palm again. You can hit that pretty well and not have to worry because I don't have any rings or anything on this finger, you know what I mean? So pop it around, get a little, you want it abstract, you want it not like focused, you can kind of try to, but for the most part, it does what it wants and that's the cool point about this. It's just, you allow it to be. But you can balance it in and twist and turn and pop this around and get it. I like to have it like kind of chunky coagulation spots purposely because I think it looks really, really neat. Some people get a little bit crazy thick on this and that's fun too. So just gets a light dusting of fun. If you see a spot you don't want necessarily all like open then you can add a little more to this. But it gives us this really neat, like, marbling texture um, that creates this, like, really fun look once the color gets on there. And I prefer to do it. Just adds a little more pizzazz, I feel, personally. Um, I'll put this down just so you can see more there. Um, but I think, I think it really adds a little bit of a touch of a fun element to it, design. Um, but again, you don't have to have it in order for these to work or it to be fun or whatnot. So, I like to put this so it doesn't roll. And then let's use some pixie dust. I'm going to use a little bit of pixie dust. Like, ooh. These colors are intense. Now, it is 100% mica. Do not breathe this in. If you can wear a mirror air mask and eye goggles please do as you see I'm just getting a little bit on at a time of my stick and I'm just gonna sit put it in directly into the hole and then just tap 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 with my finger right here I'm tapping as I'm rotating the egg to disperse and I'm just put this in and out slide it up and down however far I want it the distance of the egg for it to 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 be and I can pop it, hit it hard, so it just kind of pops and go around. And I just want it sporadic. But, you know, I'm really doing little, little, itty, itty, bitty, bitty bits at a time. As you see, it's like little teener, tiny, teener, teener, tiny things. Teeny, 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 tiny. <laughs> it's like teener, <laughs> tiny, teener. Is that right? Okay. And then, again, we're going to just. Oh, Pippy thanks. pop. Thanks, Pippy Clara. Clara. I was Pippy just pop. about to hit that. Rotate, rotate, rotate. You're about to hit what? Clara. Huh? Ah, oh, bless you, Clara. Thank you for all that. Yeah, and the eggs, the ornaments themselves, too. If um, you ladies can throw uh, Miss Judy's information on how to get these ornaments, these heart and egg ornaments. 
So you can hang these up, you can give it to a friend, you can decorate on the inside, the outside, whatever you want. You can have it for the Easter egg, you can have your own little decorative tree. Um, all this jazz. Clara so. says itty bitty bits. Itty bitty 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 bit. Itty bitty 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 bits. And Get in the habit of capping when you're done. I don't care if it takes you a little bit more of a time. I just think it's smart because you don't, again, waste not, won't not. This stuff isn't cheap and it's super, super, and it, there's a reason why it's not cheap. It's really, really high grade quality mica. So you really, um, anything from that place is high grade. So you, you definitely don't want to accidentally be like tonk and knock something pixie dust over and be like, ah, I can't believe I just did that. You know, you can also add interference to it. The interference colors. Ooh, Robin's so egg. Oh, that's going to be, yeah, good. I'm so glad I got, I grabbed this is like one of my fave colors. Scarlett's always wanted to paint a bathroom robin's egg. Yes, this the that blue is just so clean and fresh and nice to me. I just I just love it. It just makes me feel happy. <laughs> you know, it really does. So I just pounce it, and what it does is the excess that's just kind of pile coagulated on it pops it to the opposite end of the egg that I want it. You know. For the most part. I mean, like I said, you can only direct so much, which is what's great about this. Control. You have none. Neener, neener. So. And these are perfect for, like, I thought for Easter because to decorate and, like, have them around the house or to do the Easter egg hunt with it if you have, like, older people to do it with. Obviously, I wouldn't necessarily suggest a little child. <laughs> You know, but I'm trying to get this to balance higher up. Sorry, I want to make sure I want to count and you can still see. I'll try to go down here, but mm -hmm. so that's Robin's egg. Now, let's get a little freeze up in here. Oh wait, this one doesn't do that. <laughs> uh, there. Freesia, and you can also, you know, pre-dobble your colors to let you know what they look like. Always with Color Art products, I highly recommend and suggest doing color swatching because sometimes they look like they do in the jar and they do not look like it once you activate them with a paint or whatever so you'd be surprised how night and day some of these colors can look you're like what um so you definitely want to pre-swatch these products which one is this freesia 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 mine <laughs> careful <laughs> you're mine <dying. laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully did you do Kate? Do you see her in here? I don't see Kate in here anymore. Text her then. Where is she? Miss thought, Kate, where I, are you? I thought she was here, but she said she's not getting them, so I want to just give her a little texty text. I haven't seen Doris in a minute either, so hopefully she's sleeping. There she is. I thought she was here. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we can breathe now. <laughs> Miss Kate is in the house. <laughs> Evelyn wants to know if these can be used with resin and paint. Pink parasol. Say again? Evelyn would like to know if these can be used with resin and paint. You can always use this. This primary elements are specifically, they are for paint. That's what they are. They're a uh, dry form of it you have to mix them to make them into paint with the binder um excuse me sorry, sorry. <laughs> but um when it comes to resin she has specifically a brand called resin art for resin if you must use these in resin um you need to make them into the paint first and then do the guideline of the 10 percent ratio mix 
of uh, or less to resin. So you have to make it into an acrylic paint first and then to do 10% or less to your ratio mix of color that you're making. And then you can do, use it into resin. But honestly, use the resin art color products. Those things are bomb and they melt like butter when you put them into resin because they're specifically made for the resin. Whereas these are made for the acrylic. But on Color Art's website, they have all the products to help you make any kind of pouring you wanna do, whether it's a bloom pours or acrylic painting or acrylic pours. Watercolor H2O Twinkling is the watercolor line. Um, and the Resin Art, it, you'll always remember Resin, Resin Art, it has a name. It's, you know, to art with the resin. So that's gonna be in there. And look how fun, it's like confetti. So Ramona just got here. <gasps> yeah, Ramona, haven't seen Ramona hi. in a while. Good to I see know. you. And Monica's Creativities is in the house. Sweet, what's up Miss Monica? So that was Pink Parasol. Carrie can show that camera. Bam. Mm. So we'll just do a little bit. And, and what I like to add, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, okay. What I like to add is um, gold leaf. I love this stuff. This is like my jam. Um, gold leaf metallic powders is like, this is the silver leaf. They have other colors. The other two I happen to have are the copper and the gold. Um, but let's bust some silver up in here. Judy says resin art is the bomb. Yes, it is. Mm, it for really is. Ramona, we use a polycrylic by Minwax for it to you stick. Show. You could show it. And then the bind and resist. Um, and I think Home Depot doesn't sell this anymore. I get mine at Lowe's now. Oh. Well, depending on where you live, because yeah. other people can get it at Home Depot, like in Cali. And make sure you get mm -hmm. the clear mat. Yes. Comes in a can, comes in a spray, but get the one in a can. Gina says, love that egg, so pretty. Thank you. Monica wants to know where you got the silver powder. Amazon, majority of things of anything I get are on Amazon, or Color Art, or um, <laughs> uh, ATD. And ATD does sell some color, like the color art resin, stuff like that. Good point, Clara. Clara says that. That's right, not to breathe this stuff in. You got, you know, just keep away from it. Clara says that metallic powder that Scarlett is showing can be added to your ornaments if you have some holes left the next day. Oh, yeah. 100% you can do the metallics um, the next day if you want. I like to have it before because as you see... Wait, you can't say, hold on. Thank oh. you, Ramona. Hold up. She loves my hair. Aw. I love it too. Um, it, it, the next day it's dry, so it'll go on there, but when it's semi luby wet, you'll see this stuff is like, it like glows. So that's why I prefer to not do it the next day. And that can alter your color which can kind of shock you sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't, like when it comes to these, that's why I prefer to use them because um, Primary Elements makes metallics, but it was like changing the color. So I was like Rrr. Can you help me with the chair as it's about yeah. to fall back? Sure got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, so. Wow. Get to focus. Super pretty. There. In the light, you see how the reflection of that light right there? I can only ping it. I don't think I can show you. Let's see. There. So it just kind of like super way backwards. It really is like super. Super silver. Lovely spring. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Wow. I love the gold leaf powders better than just about any other. Yeah, and I use this stuff, you guys, like no other. It's like my crack for arting. Um, 
the liquid MTNs and mm -hmm. on there. and uh, and this for arting. I use this in resin. I literally uh, sprinkle it on top of my resin. Sorry, where are we? So I literally like sprinkle it dry on top of my resin with a little pipette, or I put it into the resin, stir it up, and use it that way. And it's gorgeous. It is so bomb and the look on MTNs um, also on Amazon so those are my two jammy jams I use universally in in lots of art of any kind of my fluids that I prefer which is alcohol inking and you know acrylic pouring or dabble in a little bit to help Miss Judy my arting buddy um, on those weekends and then uh, <sighs> There you go. <laughs> Clara says, I haven't sprinkled it before. Hmm. Ooh, yep. On the art, because it floats, and it super floats. But Make just sure. know, <laughs> depending on when you're, yeah, depending on how or when you're sprinkling, um, on the resin, if you have a hair and you go to, like, It'll show like the scratchy of you sanding, so you got to make sure like nothing's in there. <laughs> yeah, so if you're going to do another clear coat over it and you're sanding, putting some tooth on your piece, uh, you have to sand around it, otwise, you will scratch the gold, the gold or silver leaf or properly, whatever, or leaf, yeah, whatever. Leaf. It'll it, it'll show like actual yeah. scratch, and that clear coat, it won't, you know what I mean? It'll you scratch it off, so. That's the only bad about that, is you gotta really make sure nothing, no little spot or anything is on here. This. And as you see, I just pinch this and I put it back in. And let it do its magic and um, continue to change. And you'll see it continue to change as I art other things. And I squirt it on and you're good to go and it'll, it'll still continue to darken the pigment and all that jazz so as you see this is pretty clear again right so I'm going to let that drain on that side and then I'll just get a little bit more drained out but then I'm gonna wrap it back down here because like I said I don't want it too dry to where it doesn't benefit me and the stuff won't super stick. That is a perfect Easter egg. Yeah, it's just like, and they're the pastel, so it's like the perfect. Um, Fabergé, eat your heart out. And sometimes <laughs> I purposely won't coat like all this, this or whatever, because it'll leave its own fun patches when the, when the, um, polycrylic? Nope. Binder resist? Nope. When the this goes in it, the primary elements, when you pop it in. <laughs> that was going to be my next guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been a good guess, because you still have this to guess. <laughs> Out of all the things That's we'll right. table. <laughs> True. I'm definitely going to try to coat mine as much as I can just because it was, like I said, that, that super dry spots like would show up, I think, really, really um, to where it wouldn't hold and you'd have those, those spots. But the great thing about the polycrylic is you can't see where it, where it has been as you're putting it in. So that's what's awesome about that. Thank you, Miss Clara. Mm. Yeah, this is a great little collection of colors. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a, kit, a whole kit of 12 colors. I mean, that's insane. I was like, dang. <laughs> so wait. So I was really excited about that. So as that one's kind of coagulating, coagulating, coagulating to the bottom right there, I'm going to grab, squeeze some of this in. I think I'm still using that same lame one and squirting this. Judy says after we recover from the virus, I'm going to ask for a day without typos. 
she tried to write interference a little while ago and it was interference or yeah I was gonna go try to grab some of that milky diamond um, it's called Milky Way. It's on the very bottom here where the interference colors are. Okay. Um, the, the rack of the very last mm -hmm. far right and the bottom left. I believe it says Milky Way. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This player says, let me know if that works. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to ask for new, I'm going to ask for skinny, skinny thumbs. <laughs> Milky Way Galaxy Diamond? That. And grab the violet and the blue interference for me. And green. Violet. Yep. Green and blue. Mm -hmm. Remember come. the order they were in, please, that you just grabbed out. So what I'm going to do with my handy dandy assistant. Yes, ma'am. Is have you do the rest of this. Twist it and turn it. Mm-hmm. As you get closer towards the hole of the looby loop, just plug it with your thumb. <laughs> Thank you, Clara, because everyone wanted to know how many interference colors do they have. There are five. Yes. Yep, red, violet, green, blue, gold. gold. And there's also sparkle. Which is, um, never mind, I got them all fail. <laughs> Which is, I swear I just touched the egg with the thing. I felt like I did. Um, and then I use the this again. And I just put it on the side so it sticks. Like, you know, I still have it obviously drip. But this way it sticks and it holds and it won't like fall in. Just an FYI. And it still allows it to drain. <laughs> Shell says the only way I've ever been able to avoid typos was by not typing. <laughs> For real. That's funny. Evelyn says so I like think I, I said that's still a lot. It coagulated in there as you can see that's still a lot. Um, I'm just going to kind of want it. Drizzly drizzle. Because that for sure, and I tap mine on the hearts just because it helps, you know, sometimes it coagulates in there and then it like gets a little air pocket bubble and this helps it just kind of tippy tip down, tippy tap down. <laughs> and if you do get on the outside of your ink, it will like make like a gross smutsy smuts. So you can, you know, just wipe it off with um, alcohol. the alcohol. To help clean it and get it off there otherwise it'll be like a yucky like this like a yucky but it does come off if you just wipe it off with clear alcohol so we got a good chunk out of that now to the fun part yeah i remember when we first started using interference bond and resist well the first time i used interference was with resin art because i do resin so mm -hmm. And Miss Clara uh, got to go stay with her for a whole week, Clara Lawrence Art Studio, and art with her. And she really taught me uh, about interference because I had Aaron Spurns forever and I just, I'd never used it because I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. I didn't know what it was, what was the purpose, blah, blah, blah. A cool fun fact I learned from Leslie Olstead herself is that um, if you watch her YouTube channels, she shares it and that's where I learned it from. <laughs> But, um, there's a lot of fun factual information on mm -hmm. her channels, actually. Her channel on um, explaining her products and how they work and why they work and what's the difference between this and that and blah, blah, blah. Uh, hers compared to others. So, it's pretty informative and I really like that type of thing. So, if you're ever bored, hit it up. 
but um basically is they don't intermix like these colors if you you know get them wet they'll intermingle they'll blend together blah 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 they can make a new color da -da -da -da. interference colors will always stay by themselves individuals so whether it's a sparkle which is more glittery versus the interference which is more pearl then um that will create an accent and help you know hint a different color on top of it but you can put red interference gold interference green interference all together and they won't blend with each other by themselves so they will stay green gold and whatever so that's what's great is that they won't make mud no matter what you do with them they will always stay true and not blend but they will accentuate and help your other paints so fun fact number 364 Evelyn says I think I may need them Clara says yes you do I use mine all the time love them yeah Evelyn says enabler <laughs> Judy says Evelyn every artist needs them you can create so many beautiful colors with them use them to lighten other transparent colors mm -hmm. enhance you can completely change a color by it by putting another color like a violet you can add an interference violet and like have your blue paint and it just is like what magic mm -hmm. it's just you know, and it's fun because you never know what's going to react to what. You know, you can use the same color with the same interference color and it really enhance that. Or you can do a different, totally weird color with another color and it'd be like, bam, it makes its own craziness that you would never have guessed. It's super fun. Clara says, Leslie goes in deep with her products and info on the colors. Mm -hmm. I really like that. I appreciate that because I was lost. <laughs> And then when I had Miss Clara to like help me, I was like, oh. And then um, I was going through Leslie's channel, and I was like, ooh, what's, ooh, I want to try that. And then I was like, what's that? And then I found it explained. I was like, oh, thank the Lord. And I really like how she explains because she explains in a way that I can understand. And I have an autistic dyslexic brain, so I learn in a specific way. And she's very great with her explanations but she's visually explaining it as well which really helps me learn so I appreciate the way she does that and that's why it really helped when Clara Lawrence uh, art studio when I was over there too because she showed me as well as explained she has a really great way of explaining as you see if you've seen her channel which you should if you haven't um, you'll get it because she explains everything in like super simplistic terms that the expressions or analogies or anything she uses to explain guide you get it you know anybody can get it so this is interference blue and sometimes your this can your hole can get gunked up so I just take my stick and I just twirl and scratch it and push it in you know push it rub it off because if your whole hole starts getting clogged then the stick gets like kind of gunky with the glue you know the polycrylic so you just kind of you just kind of do that and rub it in and out go right ahead Clara <laughs> Clara said do you mind if I put a link up for Leslie's channel oh absolutely I, I, I just pull one up <laughs> Oh, uh, how funny. I beat you to the punch, Clara. Well, you can put your own link up to your channel, Miss Clara. So. So there. <laughs> <laughs> Only because she had to ask. <laughs> Thank you, Clara. To add to my do list right on Michelle. She's drawing down info to add to her to do list. Yeah, and uh, so Leslie, who's Scarlet? That's why I'm, who's Les Leslie is the owner of Color Art. No, so, said, I know. so Leslie, who's Scarlet? I'm Scarlet. Evelyn. No, she's saying Leslie, who Scarlet? Oh. That's why we went to the link. Oh, Leslie Olmstead. She's the owner and manufacturer of the Color Art products. She has her own channel if they just put up. I am so sorry. I did not. Lisa! Lisa! Hello. Oh, we are playing with your favorite products right on. We all are. Come play with us. It's almost <laughs> Easter. 
Yeah. There's some blue interference. I'm going to bust out with some, and this is the violet pearl, so this is the interference, the sparkle. Like I said, it looks more like glitter. I prefer the pearls. But as you see, like, look at that. Like, bam. Maybe I'll do that in here. Michelle that? says, thanks. The past month I've learned so much from all of you. It's often hard keeping myself from ignoring everything else and binge watching. <laughs> well, binge watch away. I am not going to be hurt at all. I'm going to be very happy you binge watch my channel. I appreciate it. All the support. All the support. But yeah, I learn from everyone and I love, love, love to share what I know or have learned or what works for me or what I do. And I love to know what works for others as well. That's what I love about this family is that we're always already community. Yeah, it's, we're just a big sharer. Yeah. And I love that. You know, no, we're not hiding any secrets or anything like that. No, and if, if people want to want to be private, that's their right. They're entitled and allowed. But. What's cool about this channel is that we all get to learn and share and experience and grow together. All right, so look at Papillion. Oh, yeah. You see that? Mm. Michelle Love says, it. LOL, you, Clara, ATD, and so many others. You guys are truly wonderful. Mm. Right back at you, Michelle. Where did... Oh, here it is. I was like, where did I put the... Share. Share. <laughs> I told Maddox, yeah, sharing is caring and caring is love. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Gina just said sharing is caring. Yeah, so she needs to remember that when, she, when I ask for some things to eat. What was it the other day where you, you both were like, mine, 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 mine. That's mine, all I can mine, hear in the mine, title. Mine, it's mine, like, mine. <laughs> <laughs> but that's mine. Clara says there's nothing wrong with binge watching. Watching news all the time is unhealthy. you got to take care of your heart and your soul, most definitely. Yeah, just take a break. Sometimes you just need a mental break. And self love. Yeah, I told Miss Kate's really excited. Miss Kate, did you get your ornaments today? Or are you getting them tomorrow? I can't remember. She's really excited. She got some ornaments coming in. All right. She can't wait to art on them. Mine, 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 <laughs> mine, 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 mine. <laughs> right. Finding, Finding Nemo. Nemo. Oh my gosh. We've been watching Finding Dory a lot because. Our Finding Nemo got like messed up, so we had to wait to get a new one. And so we've been watching Finding. For example, I told you how I had too much of the polycrylic. Well, I'm gonna coagulate it more with the what do you call it? Binder resist. But that's why you see how it's like dribbly drip there versus like powder form here. Now let me do that. See how it's like slimy, which can look cool versus like stuck like bam bam bam. That's why, is because it was too heavy on that side. Anne has a question. Yes, ma'am. She gets confused on the Vivid's polypore and then when to use the Vivid enamel. Can you talk about that a bit? Ooh, right. Same. Okay, so the Vivid polypore versus the Vivid enamel. Actually, since Miss Judy's here, she's even better, or Lisa and all of them, because they're more acrylic pore artists. So, something with slimy... Sometimes slimy looks good. Right, exactly. But I prefer doing this for it to not. Mm. Lisa, do you it's have an answer for that sticky. about the... Oh, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, Vivid enamel is when you just want to mix acrylic paint. The polypore is for thinner, like pouring. Right, but it also helps polypore, for example, if you polycrylic is better for Leslie herself to put into these ornaments. If you didn't have it, the polypore was a good substitute. <laughs> Kate says, no, nope, not yet. Tomorrow ornaments arrive. Thanks, Miss Judy, for selling them to me. <laughs> You're gonna be super stoked to get those. But um, uh, with the polypore, uh, Miss Judy, there's a lot more things that you talk about. Yeah, that's a lot right there on that little smooshy smoosh. Where's my, where's my this? Where are you? There. Hold on. That puddle, I gotta get it. I'm gonna glob a bunch of the bind and resist right there because it's like way too luby. Janine. So this will absorb, FYI, when you see that because it's way too runny. I don't want it. So I'm going to put, specifically I'm putting the bind and resist 
um, and I'm just gonna kind of like pound, like shake it a little, because I want it to absorb it and keep it from like refusing, you know, keep it from. I want it to dry it up and keep it from like smearing around on my colors. Janine is here. She says, hey, ladies, I'm usually a silent Hi. watcher, but thank you both for your feeds. I love watching you create with all the different mediums. Yay. Very inspiring. Oh, I appreciate you saying hello. And I'm glad you didn't stay silent. It's super fun to have people on here and to see all the people and where they're from. And so I really appreciate it. And I get it if you want to be a silent watcher, too. So I have to silent watch sometimes. Um, Anne wants to know if the enamel... But it's nice to see you, right, Doc Fam? Right? <laughs> um, and thank you. Anne wants to know, does the enamel do more of the cloud look like some of the other enamels do? Mm -hmm. The cloud look like a cloud pour? Anne, is that what you mean? And I'm so glad Lisa's on here, you guys. There she, she is. Oh. Lisa, a polypore <laughs> mixed with the primary elements for perfect consistency for pouring. The enamel is more for mixing paint to paint with a brush. Ah, thank you. But does it make it more look enamel -y, like what it said? Cloud look with acrylic pouring technique. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if that's what she meant, Miss Clara. Like the cloud pour technique of acrylic pouring. I know Leslie's products when it comes to acrylic pouring or resin art or whatever, but especially with acrylic pouring, there are so many different facets of techniques and what you can use. I know she has her things are really s try to make that as simplistic as possible so you don't have to have like 50,000 things to mix to get that consistency that a lot of you need for your techniques. So I'm so grateful there's a lot of people on here who are using her products that know them through and through with the acrylic pouring. I'm not big on acrylic. I don't know. I, I watch them because I love them. They're pretty, but I've not done them personally. So I'm not very keen. Like, so I'm so grateful that like Miss Judy and Lisa and um, the others are here to help you, Anne, because I don't know everything. I'm not going to pretend I do. <laughs> and I'm always learning too. So this is a really great, I really appreciate your questions, Anne. And I'm so grateful for you ladies to be here to answer them. For her. So I just want to throw some of this. And that just totally got pushed off. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that back into here. <laughs> so Judy says, I use the poly for the Dutch pour. It's perfect consistency for pouring paint. No flow trawl or water needed, but water helps if you want it thinner. The enamel will be thicker as doing a tree. So these I'm doing right now, I have it here so when you can, after reading the answers, you can then tell people what I'm using. I changed my mind, I want to use these. Lisa says people have also been using the enamel as a tent base for the bloom technique. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Because it's thicker, right, Lisa? Yeah, the enamel's thicker. So maybe that helps too with knowing what your consistency is, what you're trying to achieve. Maybe that'll help guide you too a little bit. At knowing you know, the enamel's thicker, so you want, you know, it to be thicker. I don't know. Is that true? I'm talking out of my boot, my booty, Miss. Lisa? Evelyn says, me too, Scarlett. I got to go to Texas and Minnesota and some other places. Yeah. We're in Texas. <laughs> Ramona. Ramona was watching videos on the bloom technique yesterday. Oh, I love watching those. I don't care I don't oh see I took too long on the egg it's already like too thin um I don't care about uh like when the people don't you know so-called fails don't get them down correctly like the original artist like 
the cool thing about those bloom techniques no matter what you do they look so pretty like miss judy and i tried our first time doing bloom techniques and they came out really pretty i think and they had like didn't bloom perfectly at all but <laughs> they did until we stretched them and then they just went and fizzled away but they were so pretty so pretty so and says she has a few sets but i've only used them for the heart so far Lisa says, nope, you're right, Scarlett. Anne oh, says, cool. I you. want to try the blooms on the hearts. I know. That's originally what Miss Judy and I wanted to do. We were like, ooh, we want to do them on the ornaments. We thought that would be so cool. Because um, Leslie did one on an ornament, and it was, like, insane. Judy says there's a new line on the horizon, premixed paints, then watercolor paints called Twinkling H2O. H2O. Yeah, that's what I say. Uh, she has, and my code, my 20% off code goes for any of those. And again, these ornaments in the description box below as well has Judy's link to them. Get them while they last because they really are almost gone. And the color scope just threw in our mermaid yeah. scales. Come on, get my head out of there. Mermaid scales. Judy says also new resin art colors and a kit like the acrylics. Ooh, Judy's just leaking all the juicy juice. <laughs> Heard it live and first on this channel. All the goods right. coming out. <laughs> Lisa says my blooms look like blooms for about two minutes and they just look like a pour. LOL. <laughs> right? That would be me. That was ours. It was like... And then we like tilt and it was like gone and just like, but still it was so pretty. Sea goddess. I still thought it was bomb. Papillon. And says, what's the twinkling water stuff about? Twinkling H2O is watercolor. It's like basically like if you've seen on my channel, um, I painted with metallic watercolors and it's like it's primary elements but in watercolor form basically. So you get that intensity, that thickness, that beautiful blingy -de bling, blingy bling bling bling. Um, so if you do coloring book stuff and you want to accent highlight, boom, that would be perfect for that too. Or if you just want to straight up paint, paint, watercolor, painting, but it's, it's a metallic glittery bombness of watercolor. Of juiciness. <laughs> juiciness. And that one. And she also threw in some shiros. Mm hmm mm -hmm. Ooh, and I almost forgot to do some of this. Let's do a little bit of the gold leaf. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Anne says, cool, do you think you could use it on Yupo? Watercolor? Mm, uh, I would use alcohol ink on watercolor. Um, I would use watercolor paper. You could totally use it on Yupo. I mean, you can like paint on it or whatever, but I... I would use watercolor <laughs> paint, you know? Paper? Yeah, it's paper. I just, I wouldn't waste, um, the Yupo. Yeah, I mean, you could do primary elements on the Yupo, mix it, you know, with, and to make it into an alcohol ink, um, mix it up with a little bit of alcohol and the other stuff, you just need to bind, or bind it, and then when you spray seal it, maybe it'll stay, stay, you know what I mean? But, but I wouldn't, I just wouldn't watercolor paper I just wouldn't watercolor paint with it but they are thicker a little bit um Claire says wouldn't seem, it just roll off yeah I would assume it would because it doesn't absorb you know what I mean and then it would just like have to dry it's different uh, I wouldn't I just use watercolor paper sorry oh I was like what? I didn't know what was there I can only see all the one eye um but yeah so, 
reason I was using AI on Yupo than try to paint on top with PE today. And yes, Clara, it rolls off. <laughs> I would think. I just... wonder if you've... Because you, I know you get, you're like, oh, well, it's not. Because there's some, there's still kind of, some kind of, some kind of binder. And even though alcohol ink is fluid like water, <laughs> but there's a binder in it, in the alcohol ink itself. There's some kind of binder that will stick to the paper. That, I don't know what it is, though. What if you sprayed it with UV archival and then went over it? But it would literally have to dry, like, just leave it there dry. And then, yeah, you'd have to seal it. But again... I wouldn't waste. You was expensive. I wouldn't yeah. waste. I just wouldn't. And that her, you know, color is expensive. Both those products are expensive. I wouldn't waste it like that. <laughs> so I would just use beautiful watercolor paper, which you can get cheap or you can get expensive. And you do get what you pay for when it comes to watercolor brushes, the right paints, and the right watercolor make beautiful artwork. If you choose junk you know to go cheap with any kind of art honestly you do get what you pay for it, but with watercolor i personally can attest to you, you can't go cheap if you want it to do the right kind of blends and bleeds and all the pretty stuff that you see with watercolor that makes it awesome you can't go cheap unless you literally are an artist and know how to do whatever you can get away with it but i want to go cheap judy says omg i'm loving that gold Ooh, me too do you want that one, Miss Judy? Do you want me to give you that? Do you want it? Do you want it? <laughs> huh? Oh, can you transition on to make it big? I like to use Oops. the Yupo and attach that to a cradle board and Wait. the red. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's me. I couldn't figure out what I was doing. Sorry, my bad. No, I did it wrong again. <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want it? Judy like says Wait. yes. Wait, it won't focus. Miss Judy, it won't focus. Focus. It's looking at my hair. And my, get your hair out. <laughs> I like move away. You're such a Gemini sometimes. It's so annoying. It's all about me. Oh, uh, uh, the uh, ornament is glass, Janine. Yes. And in my description box below or one of my mods can kindly post where you can get this from who you can ask for them and as you can see how big they are to my palm and they really are strong they're yeah they're double fire kiln they're made to specifically are the inside as well purposely as the outside and so that's why this is smooth and it's clipped the hole and everything so that way you can decorate and do whatever you want however you want Kate's giving you a huge thumbs up. I wish I can get this bloody light to show. How is the uh... Clara, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So when the colors meld together, do they also spread out? Mm, like bleed, you mean? Are you talking about these again, or are you talking about the watercolor? Who's asking? Uh, it was Michelle. Oh, so they do, um, so for example, when I had too much, you see how it's like blurbing together like it is, uh, like paint paint would do, like, you know what I mean? It is bleeding and fanning out. When you have the right consistency, which is what it is on this side, where it's not too thick and it's not too thin, then it, it keeps it in its place, but it, it freckles out, but bleeds wherever the powder hits. So it does like little stars. So it's not like, it doesn't look like it bleeds too much, but it does blend in a fun way, but it keeps them distinct, the color pattern. So you get like fun pops of color and design. <laughs> Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? But it will darken in the sense and kind of mix together a little bit because it is paint, right? So it'll darken and it'll, it'll keep, um, improving and, and slightly changing to where it'll fan a little bit better but I like that like distinct separation and look. says I like to use a Yupo and attach that to cradle board then resin it yeah totally 100%, so I'm same trying multi multi-mediums on the Yupo absolutely but as you there are two 
videos posted already of how I've, um, where's that rabbit? Where's that rabbit? Up there. You can grab the rabbit and something else I did. Um, you're still the bomb, Clara. Um, with my metallic paints and I, I watercolor paints, I watercolored, uh, coloring page that I, I printed onto watercolor paper so I could color on paint it, paint it with watercolor and they do make coloring books that are watercolor the pages are made for watercoloring as well and then I put it I put it onto an MDF and then I resined on top of it and so I have oops I forget so I you know put on an MDF and then I resined on top of the watercolor paper but I sealed it with UV archival spray the same thing I use for my alcohol inks I sealed it and then why is this not focusing? And then um and then on this specific one I wax sealed it and then I also did a layer of clear resin and then I added because it my metallic on here, all the gold that's metallic, it with the wax, cold wax seal, it um kind of faded. Kind of dulled it. So then I did another layer just to give depth too. But I also used metallic paint and did one without cold wax sealing it just to see because even if you can, you can leave it like this without putting resin on and for watercolor it will 100% protect it if you wax seal it. So I have a couple videos showing that. Um, that would be on the fourth shelf I believe down baby is the snail mail one. If you can okay. grab that for her to see. And if any of the mods can post that link that of those two vids, that'd be awesome. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see what's ah. Snail mail. So, yeah. So this is the snail mail. So this is the one that I painted with metallics. And if you watch this video, you'll see um, it's watercolor paper. So it's on watercolor paper and... And then I glued it, which mind be mindful of the what you use because if you can get a glue that's pH balanced, that's preferable. So that way, um, over time, the stickiness of whatever you're mounting it to doesn't penetrate to your watercolor paper and or the glue and jack up your watercolor paper over time. Um, then uh, when that was dry, I I dome resin this as well and. And it did not, you know, because I didn't cold wax seal it at all. Because uh, I wanted to see what could do. I know people would like to know what, you know, if you did it this way, what would happen? If you didn't, what would happen? So all I did with this was UV archival spray it. Um, the same UV archival matte uh, spray it that I use for my alcohol inks. And then let that dry. And then don't resin it and go go. And, and it's beautiful and fun. And the metallic on here, as you see on the snail... It's throughout this photo but again on that video it will show you um, it'll show you and this is the only one by Carlon that I use for my alcohol inks or your watercolor you can use it for watercolor but matte and satin only anything else semi gloss gloss it'll it'll bleed it'll reactivate and yeah, bleed and one. disappear your alcohol ink and so this is on UFO paper uh, ooh, is it no this is photo paper um, that I painted UV archival um, or alcohol ink with, and then again glued it, resined on top of it, and bam. So, and then see something like this, you can add those H2O twinklings probably to like the metallic whatever on top of it or whatever, but you're just gonna have to let it sit there because it is a little bit thicker sometimes. Just let it sit there. Try it out. Dry, you know, see if it'll stay dry. And then, um, see, like this is too thinned now. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more back into this because I know the consistency. I like it. I'm used to that. So I'm going to add a little bit more polycrylic since it's been sitting there way too long, upside down. Um, it's a little too thin for my taste. Um, Anne wants to know what watercolor paper you used. Okay, so I use different kinds because people on a channel like to see different things. What I uh, prefer, my favorites, aren't cheap. <laughs> but again, there's a reason. So um, the cheapest that I feel is the cheapest um, brand, even though it's starting to get most expensive, it seems like lately, is Arches uh, watercolor paper. 
to me it's the lowest grade I'll use of watercolor paper I won't go any thinner than 140 pound 300 GSM um, it uh, it'll just way too buckle way too much any kind of painting um, I prefer Artisto Fabriano Artistico and uh, Waterford um, Strathmore Waterford are my ultimate faves um, Waterford Strathmore Artistico what is over there oh and I like this I really like a lot this uh, one called fluid fluid um, watercolor paper brand it's called fluid I believe is the only it's not fluid or just fluid and it it reminds me of the Fabriano honestly it's really rad and it's um, pretty inexpensive but I really like it uh, so and what else do I have over? I think that's it Sanders Waterford is and Fabriano artistic are my ultimate faves of watercolor paper though faux show and says nothing I'd buy oh can I show you I know no, no hobby or anything what you do, no matter what, even if you try to buy cheap, it's really not cheap. Even the like cheapest adds up. Um, can you, can you actually grab the, here, can you get this to roll? Yeah. Is that okay? Are you guys okay with me, like, going over to watercolor paper? <laughs> Everyone, do you think that's odd or rude? If you were going to buy one, which one? It would be a uh, Fabriano Artistico or it would be, um... Sanders Waterford. Those would be the two most I would buy. And you actually can get those, I think, in block form and single sheet. Uh, maybe block form for Fabiano, but single sheet you can and block. Um, you can get those on uh, Amazon. So you don't have to leave your house right now. Uh, Clara says it's Blake, your show. Uh, what? Clara says it's your show. Do what you want to do. <laughs> Gina do says, yeah, show her. Michelle says, that's fine by me. Okay, can you get this to just roll around then where it's not, I will, you know, as thick? I will evenly. roll the egg. Yeah, evenly, like to have it coat thin evenly. And really appreciates it. Absolutely. Of course, that's what we're here for. Roll in, roll in, roll in. <laughs> Gina says Scarlett's always happy to help. She is. Come on. Rolling on a river. Careful, baby. I'm just repeating what they said. Okay, just be careful how you sing song it then because I don't want to get dinged and not be able to, you know. Right. She's breaking out her stash. <laughs> she is breaking out her stash. Yeah, I don't think you break these, Michelle. You can. It's glass. <laughs> if you drop, kicked it across the room, it would break. Well, come on, it's glass. It can. Break. I know glass breaks. But it's. I mean, of all people, know that. Yeah. Well, they may not know that about you. You might want to say why of all people you. Not everybody knows, baby. I'm a glass artist at heart. Stained glass artist. She's second generation on her stained glass business. Yeah, my stained glass business is Pat's 1502 Glassworks. www.1502glassworks.com. Clara. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> poor Clara. Oh, poor woman. Right. Okay. I'm also a real estate agent. If anybody needs anything <laughs> regarding real estate, regardless of which state you're in, 
I can help you, whether it's with a referral or a CMI or, or whatever, let me know. Oh, bye, Lisa. She said, there I go, guys. The puppy is needing attention again. Ugh. Oh, that's not that's awesome. Ooh, look how well I did that one. Bye, there Lisa. We go. Bye, Lisa. Yep, keep it up here. Good seeing you. Plug that hole and then get it up in here in this part, please. Okay. Clara says, I'm sitting here with my arms crossed. You unfold, <laughs> you unfold those arms. Shh, quit yelling at me. We have a baby trying to sleep. She oh. says, nope, not doing it. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Ask nicely. Don't be rude. Pretty peace. <laughs> JJ, you rock. That's my boy. JJ, JJ's back. Yay. JJ's my boy. Look at that. He busted it out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is what I was talking about, and I am definitely a consumer shopper. It was so pretty. Look at the cover, so pretty. And I was like, I've never heard of this. And now it's becoming more, I can tell, more popular, so it's becoming more expensive. But it, overall, it's pretty inexpensive. Um, watercolor paper, and the name is called Fluid. And you can get it all in different sizes. But I was just so attracted to the covers. Like, they're so pretty. <laughs> And luckily, and because it was super inexpensive when we got it, remember? Mm -hmm. um, luckily, they ended up being bomb. And honestly, it was no different than my Fabriano Artisco. So I was like, yeah. Uh, but cold press, hot press, rough, they you can get them. The th I haven't seen 300 pound, though. And this is just the 140s and everything. But the actual 300 pound, I think, is only, uh, I think, in hot press, I want to say. They didn't have it in every kind. Now. You might want to try, uh, and using this, it's called mineral paper. It's literally made from, like, some kind of stone. And it's a multimedia format, which means you could do inks, you could do watercolor, you could do alcohol inks, but, like, actual ink, ink, like pen drawing ink or whatever, or paint, whatever, right? You might want to try this one if you're going to try to do color art as watercolor. You might want to use this kind of paper instead of Yupo. And then you can still glue and... Um, resin on top and stuff like that. What's cold press versus hot press? Paper? Yeah. Hot press, it, it's it's called the tooth of the paper. It's smoother. So a lot of people use hot press to do botanicals. And cold press and rough press is more texture basically on your paper. It's more like the tooth is kind of like bumpy. And there is a right or wrong way to of paper of watercolor. So you definitely want to now this is Strathmore. Um, Bye, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Thank you, thank you for coming up. Um, so here's wait, I'm trying to get there backwards. Okay, there, boom. So this Strathmore brand. Um, I used to make my own watercolor cards and envelopes, and still do. Um, Canson. Uh, I'm really picky. This is the only the. Uh, this is the only Canson I would use this specific one, the Aquarel, Aquarel blah, 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 however you say that. Um, because they do Canson otherwise, like in like Michaels or whatever, that kind of like cheap, cheap, cheap. Nope. So get the one that says this because that's, if you're going to use Canson, that's the only kind I will use that has this little blurble right Clara here. Clara says she loves Canson. Yeah, but I don't like the cheapo, lame, lame stuff in that normally is sold in the stores. Um, and this is my fave. Uh, this is like the tippy top fave of mine. Um, is Artistico Fabiano. So there's that, which is one of my ultimate faves. And this reminds me of it, the fluid. And then. <laughs> Let's see. And then my my other, and I really like the sound, um, is single sheets because then they give you that edge lining. The block, the cool thing about blocks is is that you don't have to tear it off when you paint, and that's what keeps you instead of taping your paper down to, from unbuckling. You keep it on here, you paint on it, and then you. When it dries, then you peel it off, and then it's totally flat. So that's a good thing, and it doesn't go through to the next uh, paper. But this is Sanders Waterford. They always have this on the single sheets, like imprinted on, and then the tattered edge look, and I love that, the tear. So I really, really love them in the single sheets. A lot of any watercolor paper that has that 
I don't know. It's just, it's just a personal preference thing. And then here's an arches. They, they're color coordinated. Some, there's an orange, there's a purple, there's a green. And it's by the pound, but also it has to do with um, whether it's cold press, hot press, you know, or rough, which is, it'll say HP or not, you know, things like that. Good night, Kate. Sorry, Kate. Good night. Um, you can also, you know, get them on uh, in block. You can get it in like a journal if you want a sketchbook you know watercolor take it out uh this Strathmore this is the Saunders Waterford uh, then they also make black watercolor paper which I just did a video on um using this is Stonehenge um I've only seen it in cold press I haven't seen it in anything else and this is the biggest size I've seen it in as well. It's a Legion Stonehenge and um, it's black watercolor paper. And it's the only that I've seen like this. And then you have things like this where there's different different Prima Princesses. I really love this. It's a watercolor um, <laughs> book that the pages themselves are already on watercolor paper. And this is actually a really decent watercolor paper. So. Um, and there's a video of me where I did this chick and another one I posted my Facebook page, but it doesn't show um, a video of because I just did it in my bed. <laughs> so you like to do watercolor, eh? I love watercolor. It's my favorite love, my first love. That's from Clara. Oh. <laughs> Janine says, what a stash. <laughs> Gina yeah. says, Scarlett loves her art. It's her passion. Yep. Wow, such a wealth of information. Actually seeing them helps a lot. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah, and so then, you can go back and, and re-watch this if you need. Right, and the only other thing I want to say really quick is Painterly Days. This woman is a watercolor artist. Um, she also has her own YouTube channel, and um, she purposely does books like this so you can watercolor, and she has the cover flaps to block out, like... Um, so you can paint, for example, so you can protect, and she has it two-sided with the same image. So that way, if you mess up, you could just do the back side if you wanted to, or if you just want to redo it or whatever. But, um, so you can watercolor through it and, uh, paint. And, again, the paper is good enough for you to literally watercolor on because that's what it's for. So there are books that are specifically not very many, unfortunately. So if I get a really cool coloring book that I love, then I just go and get it printed and print it out on my watercolor paper either at home or Office Depot or something like that. And um, that way I can paint. And I just, same with alcohol inks. If I want an image and I want an alcohol ink on it, because you can gesso on a coloring book and you can kind of get away with like color pencils, like watercolor pencils, blah, blah, blah. But like the way I like to paint, I prefer the paper. Okay, she does love her watercolors, you guys. Michelle says, that was like visiting my dad and asking him about his oils. <laughs> his eyes light up, which always a marvelous thing to see. Okay. Yeah, that is cool. Thank you for allowing me to sidetrack. And if anyone sees this after the fact that isn't here during the live, bless you for, or fast forward. <laughs> but bless you because... That's what life's for. I mean, we sidetrack sometimes because people are here and they have questions and I want to be able to answer it and be able to to skip around if I can, if I may. So I really appreciate that. Um, but And that's what's so cool about color art products. That's what I really think is really neat. The more I find out about them, the more I use them um, and understand them, um, the more I just realize how versatile they are with all the things I like to do because I started trying to pretend to acrylic paint <laughs> way back when and if I had stuff like this and I knew about YouTube land and all that stuff way back when I probably would have been able to do more things and I really thought pores I would watch acrylic pour after acrylic pour after acrylic pour and I thought it was so cool and I was watercoloring you know as a, uh, for friends just gifts like um, making homemade envelopes and cards and just giving people fun mail. I just wanted to give them fun mail because everybody wanted, you know, always gets bills and 
I mean, it's rare that you get, like, fun mail from anyone anymore. So, um, that's what I did. And I would ask people, like, hey, may I have your address? Can I send you, you know, a card that I make? You know, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, for sure. And I was like, yay. And then I was like, may I show it on social media without, you know, obviously I would reject your address, stuff like that. And they were like, for sure. And so I'd post it to like, you know, my Facebook page or whatever. And, um, people were like, you should sell this. Blah, blah. And I was like, no, it was more of a personal thing. And it would take me a long, long time because it was like different. And, um, and it was joy. And then I would just watch all these curly pores and stuff a long time, you know, ago. And then I would see them. And then I was like, I want to resin the card and the envelope. And I just wanted, to, I just thought it'd be cool to do this for this one woman. And I went and I added nails to it, like 3D. It was like a Christian thing with Jesus and the nails and the cross and blah, blah, blah. So, um, I was like, oh, I'm going to try this. And then I thought, ooh, what else can I resin? Because it was so rad. And then I realized you can paint with in resin. I was like, what? So I think honestly, because I remember thinking like, I want to try the, you know, acrylic porn. I really want to try that. It looks so fun. And I somehow skipped that and went straight to resin. <laughs> so um, now I'm like, Miss Judy's kind and teaching me little different little baby steps of acrylic pouring for myself and stuff because we just both have so much fun with each other and just love learning all the different things. And there's so many things out there. It's like you never have enough time to do all these things. But so, you know, I love resin. I just throw it on anything. <laughs> I can't. Anne says, that's why I love watching you because you keep doing new things. Oh, bless you, Anne. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I want to, I purposely made sure that like my about page on my channel allowed people to understand that I'm going to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. I didn't want to be in a box um, closed in to do only a specific kind of art. I wanted to be able to learn whatever or try whatever that inspired me by watching other YouTube artists or whatever, you know, to be created. And I'm not going to, I mean, who knows in like two years what my new huge passion will be. So I just want people to know from the get go, like it's going to be whatever I'm into at the moment and want to learn. Um, but like watercolors are always my go-to. If I'm, if my autism gets too crazy with my tics and stuff, I always go to the watercolor to like calm and and get me centered and I don't know I just I just love the look of it Gina says really... knowledge is power Clara wants your address so she can exchange fun mail with you <laughs> okay of course absolutely I can give you my address absolutely Gina says all the mediums DOC <laughs> yeah, anything I can get try that I'm like want to try, I'm like for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say except for the glass. She's not into the stained glass. Yeah. So even though it's a liquid medium, glass is a liquid medium, people. Now, blown glass, love, 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 which is the only glass that she doesn't do. Thank the Lord, because um, I'm allowed to get that. And a, lot she's of, to buy. Mm -hmm, and a lot of her artist friends do amazing blown glass. So, oh my gosh, um, insane. So I've been allowed to buy them or like her mommy um, for Christmas gifted me uh, this really rad, um, it's a perfume bottle. Like it's, I don't know if it really, I don't think it really would hold, it would be little, little if it held perfume, but it's so and um she got it for me for my very ever first christmas with their family that we did together and it was like so exquisite of a gift i had never had something so like posh <laughs> and nice and beautiful and i was like Ooh! and i just love it absolutely love it and um you know kathleen mitchell and patty all of the all the people patty Yaki, yeah um, like they just doing crazy artwork so yeah. i was and we got to do our first like real date date that we did was she took me to blow glass, which was intense because that's super hot. Um, but it was so cool. So we blew glass ornaments for Christmas as our date. And we've had them to this day. Um, 
Clara says, a liquid time. medium that bites back. <laughs> Gina says, that's Carrie's wheelhouse. Yes, it is. Yeah, my wife does everything, like stained glass, blown glass. She has, she has you know, kiln, fire kiln, uh, sandblasting. Um, what's the powder stuff? I did do your pow the powder one. Frit. Yeah, the glass frit. That was cool. But I just don't want to get cut. And, <laughs> you know, and I do. And a paper cut will take me out. Like, I'm very sensitive. <laughs> Actually, one of the homes that I, I showed this. today had a stained glass window in the the front door and i was talking to the listing agent on the phone and i told her i said oh by the way if this ever breaks let me know i can repair it she was like really carrie she's like i had no idea i was like absolutely i've been in the repair business for 20 years my family's been doing it for 45. so uh, and this color is arctic pearl mm -hmm. and this That's pretty. Yeah. Now her parents are left-handed, and both her parents, and she and her brother are both right-handed. So she can vertically solder, and her mommy can like run a bead like no other. Um, Bling it, Milky Way, Galaxy Diamond. Looks like she's got some more robin's egg out. Mm-hmm. Ramona says, I love stained glass. I would love to try doing it. Take a class sometime. Glasses are fun. Yeah, that's an amazing class in Oregon. The, what do you call it, Kara? That uh, world-renowned one in Oregon, the... Uh, well, you're a Barros. Yes. And you're a Barros. Bullseye used to be up there. And Spectrum Glass is up there. Mm -hmm. But I believe Bullseye just moved to LA because uh, their organs putting down a lot of uh, uh, controls for um, the environment. Oh, well, that's good. Well, Bullseye was huge anyway in LA anyway, even if they didn't move down. Remember, you get would go to Bullseye in LA to pick up all your. I would go to Hollander in LA and oh. they carried a bunch of Bullseye, bullseye glass. glass. Yeah, I assume. Yeah. That's right. My bad. Just making things up, people. Making things up. <laughs> Janine says, gotta go recharge my battery. Thanks again, ladies. Catch you next time. Thanks Absolutely. for checking in and, and opening you. up with us. Bye, me. Gina, dream. Gina says, that's a wonderful tradition, Carrie. Thank you, it is. Mm -hmm. Ramona says, not any around me that I know of. My cousin used to do it, but she's too sick. Where are you, Ramona? Pink parasol coming at ya. Coming at ya. Clara, ladies, gotta go too. Getting up early. Love you later, y'all. All right. What are you getting up early for? That's horrible. Ramona's <laughs> in Oklahoma. Ooh, Carrie, Oklahoma. you do a class, I would come. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. if I do a class, I will let you know, Ramona. Thank you, Clara. You've been amazing as always. Yes. And we appreciate you and love you to death. Sweet Jesus, Clara. Oh, thank you. Look at her. Busting mm -hmm. out all the Busting them out. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. And Miss Judy's, yeah. Now the... Okay, cool. I don't even have to say. <gasps> JJ! I'm so glad you're there, buddy. Glad you're safe and sound. I'm gonna do this. Oh, sweet pea! Oops, sorry. I just realized this whole time I am not in the this. <laughs> My bad. Why'd you tell me, Gary? Sorry, I was reading.
Um, I don't know if, well, you can kind of see me on that lower one, but sometimes I lift it up and see where my stick is because, oops, I just scraped that. But you could see, you know, inside still, in person, you can still see through enough right now to be like, oh, let me try to get it down there. I want a certain color to pop, you know, to fill in. And I like this uh, Milky Way because it's like a super crazy, like, it's like a thick, chunky chunk of, you see that? That bling? It's like, like, chunky. It's almost like the mica. It's mica, but it's like really, really thick. Thanks, Chunks Michelle. Of mica, so it's like glittery. Michelle says you were having fun with, and I, you were having fun, and I could still get glimpses, so I was cool with how things were going. <laughs> right <laughs> on. kind. But see how these are changing, even just sitting here. So that was the side that had more bleed to begin with. And they're just deepening and they, so they do, you know, blend together, but they, but they still say like, so they have like a watercolor effect. They're, you know, still separate. If that makes sense. And they'll keep changing. They got 24 hours to do their thing. I say 24 hours because I could tell even in 12 hours uh, doing the primary elements themselves, which are much, much more, these are meant to be more pastel. So those really a little goes a long way because it bleeds for days. So you got to be careful, with, especially with certain colors. Like the reds and the browns are really hard to, you know, you got a mix type thing in the paint. So... They can, you can think, oh, it's not dark enough, and you're, like, adding all this color, and then you forget, like, it takes time to absorb and let it, like, bleed out the, the, the I don't want to say ink, but the pigment, and, and the next thing you know, it's super dark and blackening up your whole thing, because you put way too much color, but it, it slowly, like, pigments out the color, so just be mindful of that. And said she had someone at her market looking at the eggs. And he said he was engraver, so I told him to look at your video where yeah, Carrie yeah. engraved. Oh, right on. And that the info for buying them was listed. Aww, Thank you, Ann. That's sweet of you, Ann. Ooh. Yeah, that's that was awesome. fun. Michelle says lovely. Thank you, Michelle. Oopsies. Just trying to pinch, and I'm like super pinching the... Yeah, I had a lot of fun engraving on those. Yeah, it's always nice to find things to do together, like with the missus and I, because we love each other's happiness, and we love each other's art, we love each other, like, wanting to art and stuff, but, um, I'm trying to show this, like, clear, but big, I think I'll have to do it in there, but, um, we... Don't do the same. Don't do the exact same. Yeah, we really, mm -hmm. we're like, that's cool, but it doesn't excite us to do. Like, that's great. Like, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm all, mm, I love that. You love it. You know, but I'm like, uh, I don't want to do it, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you know, like saying less. So it's like, I appreciate it and I appreciate that you do it really bomb, but, and I appreciate that other people love it, but it's just one of those things where I'm like, mm, <laughs> so, how long have we been on? I feel like we've been on a long time. We have. Have we? Okay, well, I think I'll stop there then because, well, actually, let me do one more because I'm going to use the copper leafing. I think that'll be rad. So, let me do one more egg, if you can permit me. Do another egg. I'm getting bust out my polycrylic. Actually, I'll bust it out of this. Okay, I swear that just like my little face. Gina says, LOL, Carrie, you did some really nice ornaments together. Thank you, Gina. We did. Yeah, so that was really neat to try to do. We do make a great team. We do. We do compliment in so many ways, in every way, you know, of our lifestyle, of everything. I made some pretty horrible coasters the other night, though. 
she did and you know what i didn't even want i was like oh do your thing and yeah it had next... been so long i was like what <laughs> what do you mean you don't like them and i looked at them and i was like oh yeah maybe not <laughs> i was like did you look at those <laughs> Did you yeah, actually see that before thing. you put it away? <laughs> yeah, I was like, mm. I don't think Maddox could have done better on that one. Yeah, they're not they're not yes. very great. <laughs> oh, me up. That was my first coaster attempt in how long? Mm, a good minute. A good yeah, long before it's Christmas. Been a while. For sure. Before Christmas. Again, almost six months. But yeah, I was like I didn't even look at, like, pull it out. I just saw it through the thing. I was like, no. It's like a Jackson wannabe ball like look, but not cute. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. The cool thing about resin <laughs> is you could just sand on it over it and re-pour, and you're good to go. Yeah. And you never know. And that's what's great about, that's what I love about resin is you could just do it again. <laughs> yeah, the blue's a pretty color, but... Mm -hmm. Well, all of it's pretty colors because that's what I've arted with. Yeah. It's pretty colors. It's just application. Yeah. And the layout of how you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not so good. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's definitely not my best day. <laughs> so we stick to what we're great at. <laughs> <laughs> But the cool thing is, Carrie was actually at towards the shoot right around Christmas time before we ended up life happening and having to take a breather. She um, was really getting into coasters and doing great. Like, I was like, ooh, she was just like letting her sparks fly. Now, see, this was the day after that. Look, at it's very this improved. Was the you second day. Here if you want. That, yeah, that That's was the better. next day. <laughs> different, different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's definitely much improved compared to what was there. <laughs> oh, no. Michelle says, me too. My son got into my resin stash to make some oh. dice. Then yelled, hey, Mom, I got extra. You need to do something with it. Oh. I go out there, and the stuff was almost set. <gasps> oh, no. No, start heating it up. <laughs> uh, now, I can push a resin. I'm good with that. This one can push some resin, that's for sure. Yeah, well. Stretch it. Yeah, but Stone Coat Arco, that will allow me to push it to limits that most resins will never, ever allow. So, for sure. But, but boy, yeah, that's, there's been some moments there where I've had a really, I've put, pushed it to its, <laughs> to its limits. You know, from from that, like that, someone making way too much, and it's like, uh-oh, what do we do? Like, hurry up, start arting. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're like, quick. <laughs> Michelle said, oh, that had an Asian feel to it. Hmm? What have Asian feel? The blue ones? No. <laughs> There's nothing feeling There's no about feeling in the blue <laughs> Other than ick. <laughs> like, who the... <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. I know, I was like... Because for real, I'm thinking like, I know she wouldn't let our two-year-old do that. Like... <laughs> Because that's why, like, by looking at it, I was like, wait, what? And I'm like, there's no way she would be that irresponsible. Yeah. It was my other twin. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, the second one, too. Of the silvers. That was pretty. Is Miss Judy still here? Well, we've got eight in the chat. Ooh. Mm -mm. So yeah, what are you going to use this one? You're going to do the copper? Yeah, we're going to do the copper with it. So we did some gold, we did some silver leaf, and I'm going to do the copper leaf. And I'm going to do like the blues with the, and greens with the copper leaf. I don't know if I want to... 
This Firefly, I, I don't I could try. I don't think I use. Well, yeah, that's why it's over here. The hydrangea. There's Judy. She's I could here. probably use it with the copper. <gasps> Hi, Miss Judy. Okay, just making sure someone's here. If, if anybody has color art, uh, like acrylic questions and stuff, just making someone was here to answer those just in cases. Hey, are we supposed to watch a Outlander with her tonight? <gasps> it's today Sunday? Miss Judy. Wait, today's Saturday. Today's Sunday. I got to work tomorrow morning. <gasps> and my doctor appointment's tomorrow. And my doctor's appointment tomorrow. Oops. Yes, Miss Judy. Well, she's not now. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Miss Judy. I'm sorry. I'll be snoring like 10 minutes into it. <laughs> We're used to that now. <laughs> For those who don't know, we like will sync since we're on this. What do you call it? Quarantine, like self quarantining thing. <laughs> we'll like go one, two, three, play, and we'll like sync, like synchronize our watches of play to watch Outlander together at the same time on Messenger, like video Messenger. Gina says, "Yep, new new episode." Judy says, "Yes, missed it." Good. It's recorded though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. recorded, so we'll watch it together. When we, you know, get off and <laughs> clean up. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Can you hand me the lid for that over there? So it's on the other side of the polycrylic. Yeah. Thing, I mean, <laughs> thank you. Like lid for what? <laughs> it's been driving me crazy. Sorry guys. Okay. Oh, can we? Oh, oh, can we not? Okay. Mm. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find the one that you get. Is that the new one? Because this doesn't. Hmm. Well, we'll just use the stick. Now some people, you know, choose to use a pipette and fling this smuck. All over through the pipe out. I haven't had the best of luck, and maybe it's just because I'm so used to using the stick. But I tend to not, um, I tend to get too, it, it like too many in places or whatever, you know, like all over versus like clumpy. I like, I like it more clumpy than powdered everywhere because you got to make sure you don't, with the binder resist, that you don't cover, um, like that, like too much. And then your colors won't stick because you just put this stuff everywhere and it's like. Got to keep affect it from sticking all over. So you don't want too much binder resist to get all crazy. But there was a little bit heavy on. Um, I didn't want to wait anymore for it to leak. So I'm just sticking a lot in on that side just because of that reason alone. So good tap tap will do you. Okay. It does it gives these really lovely pockets of pigmentation? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Anne says I was out on Amazon looking at the water paper. OMG, so many. So glad I have a video of all you mm -hmm. said. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. Think of hot press in the sense of it being like a piece of paper. Very flat or you bow. Very flat and smooth. Ironed. Ironed, yeah. Hot, think of iron. Like smoothing it out. Um, so a lot of people do like those famous, like, you know, where it's just like bot botanicals. And it'll be like one sprig of a flower in the center with a hundred percent white space all the way around you know maybe a little wash around it light wash in the background around it but for the most part it's just to be very classic and you want that sharp smooth you know whatever i don't care if a flower is on the rough smooth or in between which is cold press so um rough is like super rough texture like hardcore texture it's just cool it just depends on preference and the look that you like so i would highly suggest you know playing with them all but I wouldn't get below, if it doesn't say 140 pound in English and it only says 300 GSM, that's the same thing. It's equivalent, same thing. 
So that's what that means, 140 pounds. I want to go any less than that because they make 90 pounds. I don't like, mm -mm. like you might as well straight up use watercolor paper on <laughs> like, uh, what do you call that? Like notebook paper. That's pretty much 90 or below. Like don't do it. Anything even 110 is not, no. You wouldn't think. What's your favorite? What's my favorite what? Thickness. Um, well, the thicker, the more it won't buckle. The more water you can get away with washing and stuff like that. So, I don't, I don't mind 140. That's the lowest I'll go. Um, 300. I just got some 400. I've never got to try, like, super thick. Because it gets expensive, you know, the thicker it is, too. So, and the, and the size of the sheet and that. So, um, but the thicker I could get it, the better because I could do a lot more washes and it could hold a lot more water and that's kind of neat. I like 300. I think it's nice. It's a good, nice number, but I'm really excited. It's, like, it's supposed to be like cardboard, like thick, you know, so you don't have to tape down. You don't have to worry about it warping or buckling or, you know, you could do a lot more lifting and it won't peel, stuff like that. So where is that? It's this one. Get down. Mm -hmm. So I've literally used every single one of these uh, 12 on this. I used all 12 colors on here of this um, kit. So that way you can see what they all are. And if you want to see what they look like, I will post it to my social media, which you can follow me on. The Instagram and the face to Facebook um, display of color Facebooks. Uh, uh, you have to friend on the personal, uh, which is my name, Scarlett Warren, and then um, you'll, you'll see it there as well as the business ones. It says display of color, and, and that one you can like and follow me on all of them and the Instagram so that way you can see these once they're done fully in a sense curing but you see what the you know firefly mm -hmm. that's gonna be pretty this is just like a really enchanting lavender blue I'm gonna put some more interference on here I'm going to add a little bit of green interference. These I like to stick in and just like whack, like hit it hard because then it just goes poof and it pops. And if you can see that is the green right there, like I can point to it. But all this little patch that you see right here that my finger's running across is the green interference. It's a little bit harder to see. But in person, again, with your naked eye, you could super tell and see it. I like to do little, little big pops, and then I like to stick it way in there. And this. It disperses really well. And then again, I'm going to do the violet pearl interference on this one. Normally, I would do the interferences first. It's just the order I normally go in and then add primary elements. Um, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'll just be in the forefront, you know better if you do it first. I think that's why I tend to do it. I usually tend to add interference more than not in pretty much every single one of my ornaments I decorate. I normally put them in every single one. Copper's gonna look amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. like, it will be fun. They're so springy. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're like perfect Easter colors. They are. 
They really Good are. Good job, Leslie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that one was hydrangea. Hydrangea. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. A little. That's something. A little bit of green. In there. What's she doing there? Sea goddess. More sea goddess. Mm. You gotta get it around the neck. You just gotta kind of gotta clip it up. Anne says, I love that green. The sea goddess? Yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's like a too. really nice, light, minty spring green. It's really pretty. Soft, but it's like a neat mint, mint and spring green mix. Experimenting. It's really nice. was really cool and the colors are so lovely I swear my wish list keeps growing so not fair <laughs> <laughs> right Michelle I know I know I mean these are really but honestly that 20% off really helps and you get 12 colors in that kit so those kits really save you money mm -hmm. big time like big time so and it helps support the channel it does I get I, I found out I get a little bit of, of of money at no cost to you so that's really cool too because then I could buy more <laughs> art supplies that's always fun but yeah these are just really neat look at that firefly is actually kind of looking cool and these are all the colors you get yeah these are so the whole kit this is the kit yeah I use definitely worth it all the colors and I used every single color so and some multiple times um, I'm just going to add a little fire five just I'm going to get a little bit over here there's like a little bit a little bit a little bit but you can't really it's a little and speckly I'm just going to try to get it in and they're not small jars they're nice nice big jars yeah a little of this frog goes a long way I know it probably seems like I'm using a ton I'm really not Michelle said, I already bought for the month, need to wait, and believe me, it kills. That's okay. My my code will be there next month, too. So, it'll be there. Yeah. The products will be there. You know, you save up. And, and I plan. just hope you use my code. <laughs> save you know, up when plan. you can. But, I mean. We do the same thing. Last month it was 25% off. This month it's 20%. So, I don't know. I assume it'll be 20% off next month, but I mean, who knows? It could be 25% off. You never know. It, or it could be less. <laughs> but um, either way, it's, it's something that really helps. And the kits help because they give it gives you a good, um, a good chunk of stuff that's new and um, for a good, a good price as well. You know, it also helps, I believe it helps save. Gina says, yes, if only money grew on trees. I know, right? We'd have to keep all the trees inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. Super fun. So this is the copper, metallic, uh, copper leaf that I'm putting on in here. And it is gorgeous. Sorry, it's hard to art correctly and make sure I'm still on shot. I really like to pounce it through, so I tend to get mine really hard on the little basey base fatty fat right here of my thingy. 
palm, you know, uh, because I can see it when it pushes in. I could see it like get more and more and more and more reflective. And I'll show you these better. I'll transition switch and like so you can, you know, see them better than how I'm showing you right now. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Michelle says, I always buy via small businesses. That way, that always helps where it's needed most. It really does. You know, and suffice it to say, yeah, a lot of people, I think a lot of people think color art is this huge, mm -hmm. like, conglomerate or whatever. And it, not at all. It's one, it's Leslie. It's one person with a small handful of employees, you know, like you. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and she's, she's giving it to like doing I don't even know how she does all the stuff she does so yeah it's time to create and make <laughs> like mm -hmm. that woman must just never sleep <laughs> so oh this is really pretty you see that uh, Michelle says so you'll get some business from me well, we appreciate that oh Michelle. bless you we definitely appreciate that you know you can't go wrong you can't be disappointed with this product really like it's pretty amazing i am and i'm not much of a pastelli person but these are pretty mm -hmm. bomb colors because they are they sparkle and they're still vibrant and that's I'm what like. i and, like about them too and for you know depending on what you're doing like it's really neat to do the pastel sometimes i think okay let me transition all right now Trying to get this mess out of the way so you can I think that's my favorite one. The lighting is darker on it. Oh, my cord, baby. Can you help me with the cord? It's caught on something. And then let me just try to. Oh, let me see. So, I just need to focus. I need to. Hold on, let me make this a little bit lighter now that I move the angle. Sorry, bear with me. Michelle says, yeah, I love the shades, too. Uh-oh, what just wow, happened? I love that. Bronze, yes. Uh, it's not letting me. What's going on? Oh, burr. That's why. Good night, Anne. Blessings to you. Hold on. Getting there, getting there. I'm just trying to brighten up the lighting a little bit so you can see. And I'm doing this all one-handed, so it's like a little bit, a little bit awkward. <laughs> I hope that I didn't do it too bright and hope I don't wash it out. Ugh. That was a strain like no other. Baby, can you kind of help me so I can get a clean mess? So it doesn't roll and I don't drop everything. Alright, because I'm holding it all weird. But as you see, and again, I just did this one so it'll, it'll be a minute before it deepens and stuff. Wow, that is pretty. Boop. Shell says lovely. Yeah, I like that spot right there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's like sliding in my hand. But as you see, if you watch the glare, I'm purposely moving the copper bling, like right there where that reflection of the lighting is. But to see the ref the copper reflect, you kind of want that, you know, the glare on it. So, so you know. Ramona says, wow. Michelle says, lots of de depth. Yeah, they're Jesus, like so, nice. so pretty and eastery and they're just going to keep getting like bomb. Like I don't even know if you can see already the marbling that I'm talking about. Is that a red interference you put in there? No, love. You Is handed me copper coming through. Copper coming through. I'm trying to get a close up for it. Like this is so 3D. Like if you could see that's that res binder resist that makes that those pockets, can you see that on yours? Because it's so far away from me, I can't tell. Yeah. And it does, my contacts are really dry right now. Um, but it's like, 
it's almost like a resin look. You know what I mean? You get this weird, like, really cool. Isn't that cool? And that's on the entire egg, you guys. Or the heart. Whatever you're ornamenting. And that's what that binder resist does. It creates that weird, like, 3D layering effect that gives these really neat... Um, like design patterns, you know, and I just wish in person, it's just super gorgeous. And I wish these cameras could be better. Michelle sees Show. It. Okay, good. But they're so pretty and they're so unique. Each one is a hundred percent unique, just like a pour. There was a light gold reflecting, you know, it's no different than a pour and it'll get deeper. And there's some of that binder resist that you see that patch. And for the most part, sometimes the color blends into it a really neat. And then sometimes it stays like that and gives it this really cool look too. Michelle says, ooh, it looks crystallized too. Yeah, it's just, it's so rad and it creates this really cool like texture and pattern and depth. And it just makes it rad. I just love adding binder resist because of that. And again, you can use gum, you know, gum Arabic is the same. This one almost looks opalized. I just feel like this binder resist is just better. I don't know why. And I've used regular gum. Huh? It looks opalized. Yeah. And it's... Oh, well, it's still changing, baby. It's not even... Okay, focus little camera. Yeah, this is my favorite one. Baby, there's no camera over there. It's right there. <laughs> She's like... This is my favorite one, and like I have the camera. <laughs> I love you. Okay, so there's that gold. It's just gorgeous. You know? They're so, so pretty. And this is where it was more like. A little bit runny, so I put, remember I really put a big coagulation of that binder resist right here because it was like super runny and then it made this really neat like, like, I don't know, it's like a 3D pour weird thing. I don't know, it's cool. Oh, that's where I explain it. This was that first one we did. Look how bright, bright this got. This became. So see how they're, they're riching, like, that pink is like like hot it's crazy come on focus there we go so again I will put post these on uh, social media um, so follow my links in the description box below so you can see how they are after 24 hours Gina says wow that that one changed. Yeah, and it's still going to get a little bit more change. So. Says, wow, it's a riot of colors. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? They're just so fun. I loved it. These are so addictive, these ornaments, I swear. And this was the second one we did. And this is like full on Easter. No, no, no. This was the first one we did because all the yellow. Did. Yeah, this is the first one we did. Isn't that crazy? And it's so much more than in what I can see in the camera. So check out our links below. For Judy's information, if you're interested in eggs, ornaments. Or hearts. Yeah, the ornaments. In the oh. description box below, I'll oh. have her contact information. And Leslie's info is in there. And my, yeah, the colorart.com uh, website and my code to get the 20% off for those who want it is also, yeah, in there. Yeah. So, super fun. Totally worth it. All unique and different. And rad. 
And then I just need to put the plug in this one and we're good to go. <laughs> so, happy Easter. <laughs> From our yeah. house to yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, everyone. So thank you for hanging out for this long live and letting us sidetrack and have fun and play and just take care of yourselves and take care of each other and be safe and wash your hands with soap and water for three minutes minimum. And thank you, JJ. No egg hunting with that one. <laughs> well, you can as long as with adults, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you everyone. Happy arting and God bless. Please don't forget to thumbs up on your way out. Um, subscribe if you have not. Share it so others see it because I don't think my lives are being shown still, unfortunately, like they should. So thank you. Happy arting. God bless. Love Bye. you guys. Bye.